My name is Ricky Thacker. I'm an Algebra One teacher at Betsy Lane High School, and I'm very fortunate enough to be in my second year of the Appalachian Leadership Laboratory. Uh, the first year I was able to uh, be in the Appalachian Leadership Laboratory with uh, my former principal who retired, Miss Cassandra Akers, and was able to do classroom redesign. Uh, this year we were allowed to have a group from Betsy Lane High School and we added some uh, members. Uh, first, the community member who is not here today, Mr. Troy Cole. He's a community member uh, in our area, uh, owns a local uh, cabinet store. Uh, Miss Courtney DeRossett, who works uh, in the Floyd County Board of Education, who also done another project with Hazard Independent, which they have a presentation later today. And Miss Cassandra Akers, who's a retired principal, uh, she retired uh, February, uh, last day of February. Uh, we miss her greatly. Miss um, Carrie Cornett, who is at State Robotics today and State STLP, uh, she is the vision of our project of Genius Hour, which we're going to talk about today. And myself, Ricky Thacker, uh, I have tagged along with them. Also. I have three students here. I have two students uh, that was not able to be here due to state STLP and state robotics. Uh, I would like to introduce Miss Abby Hamilton, a senior at Betsy Lane High School, Miss Shea Kidd, a senior at Betsy Lane High School, and Mr. Kagan Bentley, a freshman at Betsy Lane High School. And I think student voice is the most important thing. Uh, any type of project that you do uh, around the school, I think the students should be able to discuss that and tell adults what they did, uh, the actions that they done, and the results of what their project consisted of. So I'm going to try to get out of everybody's way here. Uh, Betsy Lane High School Genius Hour, we have the purpose. Uh, the purpose was to give all students the ability and opportunity to explore their own interests free from normal classroom restraints. Uh, we wanted to give them opportunity to explore something that they were interested in. So we took some time out of our schedule to let them work on something that they had personal interest in. So it wasn't a required math, English, science class. They were able to explore uh, areas where they felt they needed uh, to explore their interest. Uh, the steps, we done student and teacher surveys. Uh, the reason we done teacher surveys was we tried to pair students up with uh, teachers of common interest, but we found out that later on, and I talk about the reflection, uh, we wanted teachers to just let the students have their own vision and own belief and try to come up with the results themselves. Uh, we can you go back, please? Sorry. Uh, we sorted student surveys with teachers based on survey results and personal interests. We conducted initial meet and greet during AA because we have an AA schedule on Wednesdays, so it's, it was perfect timing. We were able to use that schedule. Uh, we conducted five two-hour block meetings. So the first Friday, we took first and second period out. Then we skipped the Friday, and then the next Friday, we took third and fifth. And then the second other Friday, we took sixth and seventh. We could not take fourth period due to our lunch schedule. And Genius Hour presentations were on the March 30th, 2017, during the academic showcase. And I brought several students, uh, three to be, in fact, to talk about their projects. And first, we have Abby Hamilton. Okay, my Genius Hour project was to improve school spirit because I felt that our school had liked that recently. And district tournament was coming up for us and it was a week of games for the basketball season. And I decided to get the school together to have a school-wide pep section. And we also involved our middle schools, which were Betsy Lane Elementary and Sunbow Elementary came as well. Um, I taught... Uh, <laughs> I taught the entire school a dance. It was a two-day process. Two different dances, um, a dance of recent songs and a dance of songs from past years. And together we all performed this during halftime of the games. And the result of this was we ended up on the WYMT and EKB News and all over Facebook and Twitter. There are several videos that you can find on Facebook. Beverly Bush has posted them. She takes photos for our games and we appreciate her a lot. 
and um, we also made signs and uh, helped get together dress up days for students so that they could come to the game prepared and uh, ticket prices were a lot cheaper as well. Hi everybody, my name is Shay Kidd and I'm a senior at Betsy Lane High School and as you know we did this program called Genius Hour and for my Genius Hour project I decided to make my own non-profitable charity called Trust Packs. Now some of you may be asking what is Trust Packs or what does it even do? Well it's simple, Trust Packs gives backpacks to children in foster care that contains necessities for them along with the foster parents. And some of you are like well why they need backpacks. But I can tell you firsthand I have experienced this and whenever a social worker comes to get you, all you get is a single black trash bag. And overall that is demeaning to children. It's just, it extremely hurts your self-confidence. It makes you feel like you are garbage. You deserve nothing. First you're ripped away from your family, then you're handed a trash bag. It's giving you the message that you are trash. So. Trust Pack's goal is to give 5,000 backpacks to children in foster care. And to do this, we are hosting a 5K in Prestonsburg, and we are also taking donations. Yeah. <laughs> Go next. Uh, next is actually Alan. She is not uh, present today, STL being robotics, but I thought her project was uh, worthy of a submission as well. Uh, she believed uh, that there were students that were less fortunate uh, of materials, so she partnered with our feeder school, one of our feeder schools, Betsy Lane Elementary. She went around to local companies, uh, stores, things like that, and they donated clothes for students. And this was her presenting their uh, their gifts to the students. So uh, she took on that uh, project herself. I was not her uh, AA teacher or the Genius Hour teacher. I uh, wish she could be here to present, but uh, she was uh, out today. And last is Kagan Bentley. Let me to the front. <laughs> My Genius Hour project was a GoFundMe account for the Mud Creek Fire Department so they could get turnout gear. All of their gears expired, most of it is. And the GoFundMe account didn't do very well. And so WYMT got it and done a story about it. And it still didn't bring anything in, so EQT gave us a $50,000 grant to buy all the gear we needed. Wow. But it's a quarter grant, so where we could get up to $200,000 a year. Oh. That's about it. <laughs> Short but sweet. Uh, and uh, I wanted to end by talking about the reflections of Genius Hour. Uh, and I'm, I always want to talk about positive and deltas. I don't want to talk about negatives. Positive student initiative, I mean, what can you say from hearing these three individuals? Increased community interaction. Uh, we tried to get something to involve with the community, such as e EQT, uh, Mr. Cole, who is our community member, uh, assisted out. Student engagement and involvement. Uh, Deltas, Ms. Cornett, myself, and Ms. Akers, we structured it a little too much. We gave surveys. Uh, we tried to put students in certain groups and we may should have done a little bit more independence and also scheduling. We've done it the second semester this year and you know snow schedule, uh, EOCs, things like that. So we're looking at next semester starting it in the fall. Uh, that way it'd be more time and uh, students will have uh, more opportunities because we had to cut one block of Genius Hour out due to timing. Uh, and we provided all resources of Genius Hour, how the surveys and things of that nature, and they're located on the holler through KVEC. Any questions, comments, concerns, or beliefs? I have a yes. What do you put in the backpacks? We put items like, we place items in it like comfort items, or say you're a foster parent and you get a newborn baby. Well, if it's in the middle of the night, you really haven't prepared for a baby yet. So it'll contain diapers, bottles, anything that that baby would need. And also games and activities for pastimes. And so you uh, kind of gear it toward whatever kind of foster kids you had. 
Yes. Yes, ma'am. I just have to comment. I am so impressed with these students. Of course, I've always been impressed with you, Rick. You know that. <laughs> Thank you. I take groups there to Betsy Lane all the time, but this is outstanding, and I, you all should be so proud. I, they are so few. Proud. They are few and many. Uh, we have yeah. many projects, and uh, we selected a few. Miss Cornette and I got together, right. selected a few, but there are many projects. Very great projects. And I want to know if the young man would help me with my finances. I need. <laughs> Just the normal. Oh, and, and is this the dance off that they yes. were more? Yeah, you, the they were more off. concerned about the dance off than they were the ball game. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Okay. So good yeah. job, you all. Don't care about the basketball game. It's halftime entertainment. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you guys so much.